What is up guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. Today I'm gonna to be running you through my typical study routine during quarantine. So grab your coffee, grab your snacks, and get ready for the B-roll. I set an alarm for seven hours of sleep almost every single day of the year, whether that's weekday or weekend, whether that's university time or vacation. I go to sleep at 12.30 a.m. every night, and so my lovely radio alarm clock wakes me up at 7.30 every morning. The very first thing I do in the morning is wash my face and then go straight to the kitchen and make myself a cup of coffee. I used to have this huge inefficiency in my life where I would wake up, make a cup of coffee, and then sit down on my desk and waste many, many minutes watching YouTube videos. So now when I make a coffee in the morning, I also make my breakfast at the same time. That way, I only go to the kitchen once, and then when I sit down on my desk, I have both my coffee and my breakfast. I make the same breakfast that I've been making for the last six or so years of my life, which is two eggs and a single slice of toast. Today I've gone with salad, tomato, and feta cheese. When I sit down on my desk at around 8 a.m., this is the most sacred and most holy chill time of my day. This is my YouTube time. This is when I completely unwind and just relax, watch my YouTube videos, scroll through my phone, sip on my lovely, lovely morning coffee, and eat my breakfast. At 8.30 a.m., I hop on a call with my girlfriend, and we spend around 30 minutes catching up and exchanging stories from the day before. I get to see the cutest little cat in the world. We talk about YouTube, life dilemmas, vacation plans for when this is all over, and we just chill out. After a quick change of clothes into something more comfortable that conveniently hides my absolute mess of hair from this video, the clock strikes nine, I become a robot and immediately stop whatever I'm doing. Sit down and start studying. At the moment, I'm studying for the USMLE Step 1 exam, which is this huge medical licensing exam for US doctors, and it's taking up the vast majority of my day during the quarantine period. I watch online video lectures on my computer while annotating my first aid book, and the reason that I'm using a physical book for this exam and not my iPad is that there's just an incredibly irrational amount of content that I need to know, and the ability to have geographic or spatial location included as a technique of memory and learning is something that's very vital for me. Anyways, I'm still using my iPad for other aspects of this exam as you'll see later on in the video but just not for annotating this specific book. I work in four hour blocks only getting up to make some coffee, prepare some fruit, snacks or to use the bathroom. So generally it's a very productive working session from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. my sister and I meet in the kitchen to start preparing lunch. We cook breakfast, lunch and dinner at home and order food for about one meal a week so we spend a decent amount of time cooking. We try and keep it fresh so we make everything from oven baked salmon, beef stir fry, bezella uros, mrojilla, enchiladas, steaks, burgers and of course pasta bolognese. Today we decided to make a vegetarian chili with rice. We usually cook from around 1 to 2 p.m. and then then it's time to sit down and watch something relaxing while we eat. This is another very sacred part of the day where I can fully unwind and just recharge to be able to study for the rest of the evening. My sister and I just finished watching Breaking Bad together, which is probably in my top three shows of all time, and now we're watching season three of Ozark. After a relaxing 30 minutes of watching and eating, the alarm that I set for myself rings, and I use the remaining 30 minutes of my two hour lunch break from 2.30 to 3 p.m. to do anything productive that's on my infinite to-do list. This is usually something email related, YouTube related, general life admin related, and I also use this time to call my parents to my girlfriend and catch up with them a little bit more. Before I know it, it's 3 p.m. and my sacred lunch break is over. I once again drop everything that I'm doing and sit down for the second four hour study block of the day from 3 p.m. till 7 p.m. It's usually more of the same here, annotating my first aid book using online boards and beyond lectures. Or if I'm done with the chapter, I do a series of practice questions over on the US Emily RX question bank or run through some Anki cards to help integrate that spaced repetition into my study routine. The afternoon study session is a bit more difficult than the morning one. I've usually eaten about two portions worth of food here and I'm feeling like I'm about to pass out, so coffee on the hour is pretty necessary. At 5 p.m., my sister and I step outside on the balcony for a very cheeky 15 minute break, just to catch up with each other a bit, <laughs> sip on some tea and soak up the amazing sun from the beautiful view from our balcony, which we are very lucky to have. At this point, I study for another hour and 45 minutes until 7 p.m. when my sister and I reconvene in the kitchen once more to cook dinner. This time, we hopefully have some leftovers from lunch, but if 
If not, we make another cook right from scratch, which will hopefully have enough leftovers for lunch the next day. We try to cook and eat dinner between 7 and 8 p.m., but if we're cooking a meal from scratch, this doesn't usually work out, and I end up finishing my dinner and chill break at around 8.30 p.m. After putting away the dishes, I walk to my mirror and give myself a motivational speech about how there's only one hour of studying left in the day and that I can do this despite how tired I am from studying and how much I just want to turn on my PlayStation and play some Call of Duty with the boys. For this last hour of studying, I try and do something a bit more fun, something easier and lighter on my brain so that I can actually stay awake and focus. And so for me, the perfect study material here is sketchy medical. It involves learning through visual drawings of all kinds of strange settings and scenarios, which really helps keep things light. And the videos are really short and easy to digest. So one hour passes pretty quickly. At 9.30 p.m., I'm finally done studying for the day and I'm extremely excited about how I'm gonna spend the next three hours of my night having fun and relaxing. Depending on the day, I do different things, but usually in these three hours, I edit some videos that need to be uploaded on this channel every Thursday at 8.30 a.m. sharp. I also try and play some video games during this time or continue to work on all that general life admin or emails that make up the never ending list that is my to-do list outside of studying. Before I know it, it's midnight and I make my way over to the shower, brush my teeth and then get into bed. By this point, I'm exhausted from a long day of studying and if my neighbor isn't having a loud phone call on her balcony in the the middle of the night, I'm fast asleep by 12.30 a.m. Ready to start a brand new day of studying tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please do leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to hear your feedback in a comment down below and until next week, happy studying, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!